I'm Jay Mower, owner of Mower's Barbershop. I'm 40 years old, born and raised in Beverly, Massachusetts. I always loved barbering. As a kid, I used to love going to the barbershop. The guy I looked up to was this guy, Jim, Jim Campbell, who his shop was where Stephanie's is now. He used to smoke cigarettes, drinking whiskey. So my mother used to say I used to smell like a barroom when I got home, and I was probably only in fifth grade. But I loved hearing all the guys talking the stories and reading the magazines and catching some dirty magazines here and there. It was always a treat. Just how he talked to me and like, how we talk to the customers really influenced me. Like, wow, I, I could see myself doing something like this. My name is John. I'm a barber. I'm 27. I've been working with Jay for a little while now, and I love it. Me and Jay kind of hit it off. We listened to the same music, kind of had the same vibe going on. So I just started working here. This is the first place I looked at, and the first place that I started, and I stayed. So worked out in the end. I wanted to be a little more involved in the community, a little more involved in my customers, not just cut your hair, get out, see you later, thanks for the money. I wanted to make sure I wanted to talk to people and see how their day was, and that's why I always liked about barbering. I love that aspect, that people are coming back because they want that environment, they want that smile, and you're not just a number. The people love us, and we try to do our best for them. Hi, my name is Erin. I'm from Haverhill. I'm 43 and I'm a mom and I'm an executive assistant. My son here is Max and he's eight years old. My name is Max. I'm from Haverhill and, and I'm eight. <laughs> Are you nervous? No. No? Well, I've been doing it by myself at home. My son would rather me um, not do his hair. My son got his best haircut ever today, so we'll be here again. He's really happy about it? Yeah, he's really happy about it. I'm Andrew Convisser, I'm 21 from Beverly. I've been with Jay for maybe 10 years, 10 or 11 years. Sometimes even if my friends are getting cuts here, I still just like come and hang and sit on the couch, drink a coffee with them while they're getting a cut. Um, we come to Mowers because we know Jay, we've known him for a long time, he's a great guy. We heard about his shop a while back when he opened it and we like to support local business and we like to support our friend. We started at his last barber shop. I met him there and then he moved here and we're all excited about his new shop. This one definitely matches like the vibe Jay, Jay's always given off. I like to kind of keep it open to everything. You know, and my shop just kind of formed that way and went that kind of direction. Mine, I went for more of more of a Brooklyn kind of style to it. Giant boar on the wall and like skulls everywhere. It sort of fits his tattoos and everything. And it's got a great location right on Cabot Street. It's like the main street in our downtown. So people drive by and sort of check it out. I see him talk to other businesses on the street all the time. He tries to sort of have a connection to Beverly. I think the governor stopped in recently. There's a picture with, with Charlie Baker, yeah. Plus, you know, being involved with the school, like having kids come in like yourself and working kids coming in and painting and doing things like that I think that's helped out a lot like Eddie was a customer of mine he's in the uh, tattoo flash and I was the same and I said I'd like to do something in here and he's like oh man I'll paint for you so I said all right so we built a relationship that way and uh, we became actually really good friends through it and uh, he did an awesome piece I love it with Steve's and I, I was cutting Andy's hair for a while. Andy was like, oh, you know, thanks so much. I'd like to collab on a sweatshirt with you. Let's do a collaboration. I said, yeah, I'm due to put a sweatshirt out for the shop, so that sounds great. The back of the sweatshirt that says, you know, stay in trouble, look shop. The image is my wallpaper as a kid. I always used to say, stay in trouble, don't get caught. We were brainstorming up there, and I, he asked me, what else do you say to people? I said, I said, you look in shop. He said, okay, let's say stay in trouble, look shop. So that's what we put it on. Yeah, that's how we came together and we became really good friends. Like this whole thing with opening my shop, I became really good friends with some really great and amazing artists and people. And I'm very fortunate for what's come to me here.